Do you enjoy playing games? I'm sure everyone out there from the time that they are kids right through as they grow up, they enjoy playing any game of any sort. I love playing board games and I'm competitive as well. Board games and games in general are not only fun, but they are also educational. And why am I talking about games and board games today? Well, there is so much, so many lessons that we can learn as business leaders, entrepreneurs, business owners from games that we can then apply to our businesses. Tons and tons of lessons. Some of the games, they've created games now, board games, to help entrepreneurs. I'm thinking about Richard, uh, Robert Kiyosaki from Rich Dad Poor Dad. He's got a game called Cashflow 101. And that's all about teaching you how to play the money game. You know, investing in properties, buying companies, buying shares. So there's lessons that we can learn. Monopoly, a classic game. So many lessons um, that we can learn from Monopoly. So a couple of them, a couple of lessons that I want to share with you that I've picked up about how board games in particular can help you as an entrepreneur, as a business leader, as a business owner. So one of the first things that you will learn when you play board games, you will learn about a person's true nature and their character. When they play a board game, the, the, the competitive sides come out, you know, the, the, the sides that you sometimes have never seen in a people, those sides are come out. You'll see people cheating. They'll be lying. They'll be doing everything that they can to win, um, in, in, in that game. So, you know, that's one important thing that you can learn from playing board games is you can learn about someone's true nature, their true character. So sometimes if you are intending to uh, uh, bring on a partner in your business, maybe bring out the board game and play with them and see how that goes. Some of the other things that you learn uh, as well in playing board games is strategy wins over power. So you've got to have a strategy when you're playing a game. Even when you're playing games like Monopoly, you've got to have a strategy of what properties you want to buy, what houses go on each property, and then how does those houses then become uh, hotels. It's very important. So having a strategy and then also having a plan in place of how you're going to play the game. Yes, there's going to be times when you play just for fun, but you know, there's no fun in it when you don't win, right? So you want to always win. So there's all those kind of things as well. Some of the other things that you can learn is patience. How, imp how important it is to have patience within a game. You've got to wait for your turn sometimes. You've got to be patient when someone else is, you know, counting and, and, and exchanging uh, or trading um, properties or money, depending on what type of game you're playing. So there's all, you know, those kind of things of learning and, and be to become patient as well. Um, some of the basic things that you learn is how to manage money, understanding of buying and selling properties, buying and selling um, various different things. If you're playing, let's say, cash flow uh, from Robert Kiyosaki, you actually have like a little profit and loss and balance sheet that you've got to work with and you've got to do your calculations and you've got to make sure that your passive income is greater than your expenses. So you're learning the fundamentals of, let's say, accounting, money management, how to, uh, you know, how passive income can then uh, take, uh, uh, generate um, and replace your income from, from employed sources. So, you, you know, learning these critical things, again, a great skill to learn. My 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 two boys enjoy playing uh, cash flow because they into business, they into money, they they you know they, they mix around uh, me when I'm doing my business and and uh, when I'm talking with my dad as well. We talk a lot about business, and then when we start playing cash flow, they full we let them take control. They manage everything as well. So it's a great skill for kids to learn. A few other things as well is staying humble when you play, right? So sometimes you could be on a roll and you could be winning and things are going really well and in your favor and all of a sudden you could lose or you could land on a, on the wrong properties in Monopoly or you can hit a doodad in, uh, in the cash flow game and uh, you could lose you know, all the money that you have in the game or you could lose some of your properties. So it teaches you as well that in good times, you have to be humble as well. You've got to take the, the good times with the bad times because they all 
go with it. And in business, we learn as well. You can never be, you're never always on the top. There's times when, you know, things are lean, things aren't going in your favor, and you need to be able to manage that as well. At the end of the day, what you learn from games is a great experience because you can then apply that. If you lose in the game, it's just a game. You can then take those lessons and apply it in in your business, in your work, in your career, and then obviously try not to make those mistakes because, you know, in in, in the real world, losing has a, a much bigger effect, obviously, on your finances and everything else. So those are just a few key things that I think you can learn from playing board games as well. Apart from them, you know, stimulating your mind, giving you ideas, mixing and, and, and enjoying and having some fun with those around you. Think about the, the lessons that you can extract from playing those games. These are some that I shared with you. You may have had others. So if you, if you have, feel free to reach out to me and share with me some of the lessons that you've had playing various different games or board games. 